Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you in the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast. With Hank. This is episode 111. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. It's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not hype. I'm not geeked up. Very special guest in the building. This is my guy right here. Introduce yourself to the audience. Reintroduce yourself to the audience. <laughs> hey, I'm CT, part owner of Gym Team Coach Explosion, creator of it. Starting a new movement here in Atlanta, new movement for the black race, new movement for our culture. Back up and let them see the shirt now for those who are watching the video on the eBlock Radio Network. Exclusive yeah, video. Nice. There's are the shirts right there. Merchandise is available. Get at my man. We're going to get into all of that, though, as we get to the episode. Y'all know how this thing works, though. Monday, every Monday, 2 o'clock on the eBlock Radio Network. Tuesday, every Tuesday, GFT Radio Network at 2 o'clock. Wednesday, 216 to blend, 12 midnight, 8 a.m., 8 p.m. Then we go Friday, I say Podcast Radio Network at 10 a.m. And then Saturday, 10 a.m., THC Media. Still wide open on Thursdays and Sundays. Let's make something happen. Now, uh, Custom Hustle. Custom Hustle on Instagram. Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. Those are my, That's my clothing line. It's custom jerseys, jackets, T-shirts, sneakers. Uh, we got the spring jackets in for those cold summer nights. You know what I'm saying? Don't just think we're going to varsity your situation because you don't need that when it gets a little warmer. CT got one, so he already know how these situations work. Oh, you know man, saying? dope. We handle the culture explosion jacket for my man. You know what I mean? Hey, but, dope. We still waiting on them photos from CT from the, from the jacket. We still yeah. never got those, and we still gonna I keep got you. That. Um, <laughs> that's my apology, but I got you. <laughs> but yes, uh, the, the sneaks are available in any color and any size. Uh, kids, ladies, men, however you need them, they up to a fourteen. Uh, jerseys are football, basketball, baseball, hockey, however you need them, we got them for kids, babies, however you want them, we can make them happen. Up to about a seven X, I think it is. I think a seven X is as big as we go for the big fellas. Big fellas, your drinks are gonna cost a little extra, a little more material and all of that, but you know how the game goes. Uh sweatsuits, we're working on the shorts too for the summer. I'm saying new things are coming. You know what I'm saying I'm making announcements as they come along, but I don't announce things until we have them in. Uh, but that is at Custom Hustle World on Instagram, Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. H2H Cleaning is my cleaning company. As you heard CT say he's down in the A, and if he makes it worth my while, we will slide down there, get his roofing, plumbing, HVAC, carpeting, cleanups, yeah. cleanouts, remodeling, flooring, however he needs it. We got all of those situations in saying on deck. <laughs> <laughs> and um, that is at H2H Cleaning on Instagram only. Now, yeah. episode 111. My guy CT, I told CT this, and now things just changed recently. As of this week, you no longer are the number one episode anymore. CT came on the first time and got the most downloaded episode we had ever had. Shouts out to my man, Black Paco. Black Paco took over the spot this week. When I checked the numbers yeah. this week, Paco just beat you out by a couple of downloads now. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shout out to him, man. Shout out to Black oh, no. Paco. Shout out to shout Black out Paco. To him, man. Hey, <laughs> much love. Shout out to you, brother. Shout out to you. CT held down a spot for a year and some change. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so now, this is what we're going to talk to my man about this week. Uh, y'all know this week is Juneteenth. Juneteenth is coming up this week. Uh, CT has a whole big situation, as you can see with the shirts, where this is all. This episode is all kind of about that situation. So Juneteenth, let's talk about Juneteenth and how we got to the whole situation where you said this needs to be something that we need to shine more of a light on. Y'all started doing that the other day. Talk to us. CT. Okay. So in 2020, man, I, I felt the, um, the conviction. And in 2020, we all know we, we written the death of George Floyd and, you know, the world was on pause. The world was on stop. And we saw George Floyd being slain just the same way Emmett Till was slain. And at the time, honestly, I did not have that vision. At the time, I was trying to do something totally different. I called one of my partners. I was like, hey, I'm not a protester. Hey, I'm not this. Let's put this curriculum together so we can enlighten our people enough to go about the fight. So just like I can't say everything because get ready to catch the documentary on Netflix about I can't even put the years out there. But yes, a documentary is coming. Like a true. A true legitimate documentary, man. Like when I say a true legitimate documentary is getting ready to be produced about all of this. But going back to this, like 
me, my friends and family, man, up here in Atlanta, man, during the pandemic, it didn't stop us from living. Even though they were like, hey, can't do this, can't do that. We would still come together as one. And it's so unique how we do what we do. And I remember being in the midst, like, hey, we need to celebrate Juneteenth. Forget the 4th of July. And then they called me out on them, like, let's do it. They all chimed in and say, let's do it. And like I've been telling people, like, it started in the garage. It started in the garage. And I was just so amazed how God blessed so many people to come through and celebrate our true purpose. And like a lot of people don't know, Juneteenth is our freedom day. It started in Galveston, Texas, where the Union soldier came to Galveston, Texas because they were the part of the South that didn't know that, hey, the Union had won the Civil War. And two so, years man. before, yeah. Took mm-hmm. two years. To, that's the crazy thing about how the world worked now. Can you imagine two years ago something happened you ain't even got word yet? <laughs> and the thing about it, the thing about it, like, the war had been won. To remember, so the conflict of interest was, I don't really want to say conflict of interest, but we already know everything have a loophole. And we see now how we had to fight for the civil rights every year, the voting right. We had to fight for that every year. Everything in America has a loophole. So. The Emancipation Proclamation was signed in September 22, 1862. They had 62 when it was signed. See, that's what Copy that. that. Educate us, brother. (laughs) It's a lot of things that people don't know, like it had been signed, but even then, it just like, I'm going to kind of tie this into right now. So back then, they had a cotton gin that was created. So now... Back then, slave were considered a livestock, just as a horse, cows, et cetera. They were considered as a livestock. And so now, just like, what the use of them when we got this, the cotton gin is coming. But like, we really got it. And so it ain't what we think it is. You know, it's so much deeper than what we really know, so much manipulation, so much deception. But going back to that, that when the Union and the Confederate went to war, like, hey, let these people go even though that wasn't really a whole mission, it really like to push forward to say, hey, we can use the cotton gin and do way more than our manual labor, kind of like how artificial intelligence is getting ready to do now. And so with that, they fought for them years. And um, it was in June 19th, 1865, when the Union soldiers let the people in Galveston test know, like, hey, y'all are no longer enslaved. Y'all are free. And so, like, certain parts of the South I already knew, but it's just the way how they celebrated in Gaveston. And going back to us, like, I don't never want to be, like, the woke and all like that. It was just, like, let's come together in love, faith, and hope and celebrate us by celebrating Juneteenth. Let's put the light on Juneteenth. Let's put the energy in Juneteenth to celebrate and then to get us to do it. Because being in Atlanta, when Atlanta put a stamp on something, it go viral for years. So let me jump in right here. Um, the first time I talked to you, like the people behind the curtain, uh, shouts out to the Bros Podcast, KC and J Moon. Shout out KC to the Bros Podcast. I did an episode with them. You was in the comments. Damn, I like the episode. I thought this, that, or whatever. This is why I always tell people, post it on the page so I can see all of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, maybe you done sparked our own relationship from that episode, but the first time me and you had that conversation, and the thing that you said that clicked for me was, Celebrate with a purpose. The reason why I celebrate with a purpose clicked for me is because we always look for reasons to just eat, drink, and be merry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And when you say celebrate with a purpose, that's also educate ourselves on what this situation really was, how all of these things really is. Because the sad part about it is everybody don't get this education at home where you're supposed to get it. See, I was a kid who grew up on everybody had to watch Roots. We had to watch Once Upon a Time We Were Colored. We had to watch Amistad. We had to get all the uh, rosewood. I learned about all those things at the kitchen table outside of school because, you know, school takes you to a whole different place. But I was learning all of those things at home. So when I hear these things, these things hit a little different for me Uh, because most people, it's like they don't. It's like main man in Florida uh, who don't even want to teach you about these things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he announced he's running for president. We're not voting for you. I can tell you that. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, let's never hide from the past. No matter what our situations are, 
we can learn from the past. We can educate ourselves from the past, but we also need to know what happened. We need to know what was there. We need to know how we got here. You need to know the origin story of these different situations. And these are the things that like people just try to shy away from. They don't want to tell their kids about it because it was bad and all of that. But you gotta, have, you can't appreciate good if you never had bad. And Correct. that's why I said though, the first time I talked to you about it, and you said celebrate with a purpose. That's what made me go, oh no, I gotta work with this dude. Because he's not mm-hmm. just on the type of time of, hey, let's just have another reason to get drunk in June, <laughs> like, which That's- is what people, which is what most people go to. So go, I wanted to salute you for that. First of all, I wanted to salute the bros for hooking up the situation. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. But then I wanted to salute you though for having that always in the mission statement. When you talk to people, when you do these interviews, and you always tell people with a purpose. That is the important part that I didn't want to gloss over and act like it was just a statement made a fly by night type statement. No. Hey man, thank you for that. And I want to give praise to the bro podcast. I want to get a praise to you and how to hustle podcast. I want to do that because you all gave me a platform to just share what it is I have. And, and thank you for highlighting celebrate with a purpose and the whole angle that me and our team and we move as one and we are one and that we're doing is that you are the purpose i am the purpose the whole black race and its culture is the purpose worth to be celebrated and just like i said on the ugly money podcast we are people that overcome when you can overcome so much that thrown at you you're worth celebrating when you can be a creator an innovator like like we said last time look at hip-hop Nobody wanted to touch hip hop, but hip hop is still striving. It is still striving and it ain't died. Disco died. <laughs> mm. uh, punk rock died. <laughs> but hip hop is still going. And just like you see now, even like this, we're giving a tribute to this, like we're honoring 50 years of hip hop, even like with this. But going back to it, we we have always been God people. And even hold up, like hold up, hold up. Since you went here. This is something that I want the people to know because I didn't know this. And even like I said, we, I, Custom Hustle did the jacket. And I didn't know your logo since you brought up the hip hop ang- angle with this. Yeah. <laughs> see the four heads on the logo and like, well, I just thought they was generic dudes <laughs> until I heard you go through the story there. So yeah. since you turned to hip hop already, we call that a segue in the business. Yeah, lead yeah. us now through the logo because we're gonna have the logo obviously up for the people visually yeah. on the Instagram page that week. That way they'll hey. be able to see all of that. But hey. tell us about the logo for Culture Explosion. Man, it basically traces our greatness, and everybody that's in that logo. When it came about, God gave it to me. I was sitting in the classroom for you know for those people that don't know. Um, you know, I'm an educator as well too. I teach personal fitness and health and also certified to teach social study, a.k.a. history. <laughs> and so um, when I was sitting there, I think the first logo that my man created for me, that's my little brother, my mentor, son, I got a big check coming for him. I got a big check waiting for him. I'm, I'm, I'm big on gratitude. I'm big on gratefulness. And I'm big on somebody partnering and playing to something. But going back to the logo, I remember he sent it. The first one that he sent over, I was just like, I don't want that. It got to be something different. We used to saying this is a cultural explosion. It got to be something different. So I'm sitting there and God gave it to me. Yahweh gave it to me. He was just like, when I saw it, I'm like, I'm saying pop. I'm saying nil. I'm saying Chag with me. I'm saying DMS. All of these things coming because like, once again, shout out to Juneteenth ATL. They've been doing this since 2012. Shout out to them. You know, but I, our anger was never to harp on solely African heritage. Nothing wrong with that, but it was just like, as a people, we were celebrating. But going back to them and the logo, their traces of greatness, each one of them represented something that was so valuable to our culture. And when I say culture, a lot of people, they loosely use the term culture and they don't understand what culture is. Culture is a custom of belief behavior and everything that we embody even just the like when it life. Comes to the way of life because just like a lot of people that watch let me go on deep let me go in detail what culture is you know what i'm saying a custom of belief behavior and the way we act in our tradition and our beliefs and so 
even the way we celebrate is different. It, the way we celebrate is so contagious, but people hate that they can't celebrate the way we do. They want to monetize and they want to try to standardize. Just like we said, you don't have to standardize yourself to anybody when you are the blueprint, but they prostitute it. They capitalize off it, but they want to make you feel bad for being who you are. And that's what we come with like now. Love who you are. Appreciate who you are. Respect who you are. Do it out loud. So going back to the logo, that mirror on the logo, look at Pop. Pop embody everything that was in him. I once heard a prophet say, when you go to the grave, do you want to go to the grave empty or you want to go to the grave full? Pop went to the grave empty. Nissy Hustle went to the grave empty. Uh, Chadwick Bowden went to the grave empty. DMS went to the grave empty. They gave all of themselves what most people are scared to do. And the crazy part about the logo now is you don't even think about that part that they all ain't even here no more. Mm -hmm. I never even thought about that. Well, at the time, they at the time they wasn't all just dead at the time. But now that you think about it, those four individuals are people who had a strong impact on the community, the culture and the explosion of the situation. So salute to you for the play on words and for the subliminal messaging. And you got to be paying attention to catch all of that. Yeah, you really do. And that's why we did. And then shout out to um, uh, E-Hub on the set. He's an artist as well. I'm going to send him your way. And he is going to be on that J. Cole level when people realize like he got something so authentic. He got something so authentic, man, that 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 I don't even think the world is ready for, but he got something that's great. And I'm sending them in your way. Well, this is what we do here on the How to Hustle podcast. One, you already know, if you stamped him, then we can make something happen. Yeah. Two, though, when we shout people out, we let them know we only accept five stars here on the How to Hustle podcast. Why? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we'll be expecting those five stars in the comment, you know what I'm saying, when, yeah. he, when he subscribes. But um, now, this year, we got Coach Explosion. This year is happening on the 17th, June 17th. Let the people know where they can get their tickets. Where we at? What we doing? How has we evolved and grown the situation since 2020? Talk to us about all of that. So, first of all, they can get their ticket at uh, on Eventbrite. The direct link is jce.eventbrite. My bad, jce2023.eventbrite.com. And then also we got a website that they can go to a well too, jce2023.com. They can go to that as well too. Let's pause right here again. Let's not gloss over. Yeah, we got a website. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you sent me, you sent me the joint. And I was like, damn, bro, I didn't know we was doing it like this. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> so look at that. You know what I'm saying? We went from, like you said, we started in the garage and now we got a site. Let's not just let's not gloss over these steps. We only three years later, bro. Yeah. So don't just yeah, run yeah. over them things like they like they basic steps, bro. That's three years of work. That's three years that we went from the garage on the grill. I'm assuming we in the garage. We on the yeah, grill. Yeah, yeah, we on the grill. Yeah, we on the grill and frying fish yeah. too. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. So to go yeah. from there to now, we three years later, we got a site and we got the link that you can hit to get your tickets and all that. My bad. I ain't mean to step on you, but I don't want mm -hmm. you to gloss over these steps like they minute steps, bro. When we, yeah, we talked about last year, me and you private conversation, and I said, well, damn, what was the turnout like? And you told me, and I said, bro, that's people who paid money to come and see what you had going on with an idea that you came up with. Don't never gloss over that. If I sell one ticket, then that means one pe person gets the vision. Right. And salute to that one person. You're right. At the same Matthew, faithful servant, you have been thankful of a few. Now I'm going to make you rule over many. You're right. And that's, and you know, you was that, and, and I thank you for doing that. And, um, man, my, my bad, spirit. Though, Let's, I, my bad again, because I jumped in, but I had to jump in with that no, because I, I didn't want you to go on over that. But now still, talk to the people about where we at this year on the 17th. How can they get their tickets? Where can they get their tickets? Where are they pulling up? Who's in the building? Give us all of that. Man, so I'm going to say this. For those that might not make it this year, even though we're going to be so many more to come, even after we are gone, this ain't the one that you want to miss, man. When I say it's really about to be an experience and a show. For one, how many people can say they went to an event where they have a live musical game show going on that are actually about the culture? Like it's going to be a mixture of in living color and wilding out going on at the same time. 
<laughs> like when I say that, like with Ops Cores Wars Live, the host J Dukes, the DJ, DJ Seven Trey, DJ Smizo, and then they like, oh my God, like we're about to embody everything about the culture. Like they're going to be in the building. You, they going to want to be on time for when that starts. Because they don't want to miss the 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 roller coaster ride that we going. No, it ain't no roller coaster. When you go you up, miss the explosion. Saying, no. you won't that miss the part. explosion. Because they're gonna <laughs> explode. All of them people in one building, they're gonna explode, man. And it's just amazing how God put everything together. So Oscar War Live gonna kick it off. And then first of all, for those in the A that remember Club Opera is now named Domain Atlanta. Look here, we got a so. We got a big stage that going to house all these people. We even got badges made. Like only certain people, select few people this year going to have all SS pass. And that most of performing DJs, managers, media team. Oh, yeah. Get ready for the YouTube clip. They're getting ready to come up. But I'll talk about that some more. Yeah. Talk heavy, bro. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, we actually got a, you know, shout out to our media team, UC Royalty. Brandon and marketing coming. Shout out to them. Shout out to Brandon B. And you know, he the bros, he the noob. Shout out to bro, you know, doing what they do. So they got a videographer on us. So we got something going on too that I can't go into in depth with that now, but I put it to just like this. Alana getting ready to stand up with us. Like that's cool. We'll we'll dive into all of that on about episode 130, 135 or something. Say, we'll bring you know, back I'm, we I'm always coming back. We drop oh, a little bread. We drop a little bread crumbs. We call that the cheese in the business. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, shout out to you. You the you the goat. You know what you're doing. Shout out to you. Pay, and so, paid talent. Paid talent, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's not just a hey, hashtag. It's a, that's a way of life. <laughs> hey, yeah, that that part right there. And so, not only that we got Oscar War Live, but then we had Domain Atlanta. That's in the heart of London. That's in Midtown. So just like you said, we started in the garage, went from the garage to the event center, went to the event center to um, somebody taking over an old famous building in Atlanta that's all on Old National. Old National one of those highlight landmark when people come to Atlanta too. And, you know, we've been there. And now for 2023, 2024, 2025, we had Domain Atlanta. But the thing about it, that's about to be the home, but not also that for 2024. We got three events going on in two days. It's already in the work. God already stamped an improvement. It's finally here. It's finally right, so here, man. It, hey, remember what I told you? It, it's finally here. I'm about, to, I'm about to say, all right, so wait. Let's, let's clap like, it up. Hey, it's finally here. Like, keys and everything. Like, it's finally here. But going back to that, so, man, when I say, like, the lineup is so crazy, we got Oscar Awards live. But not only that, I want to highlight what this. Time, what time? What time are we starting? We haven't hit that. So the people know you see, they want to get yeah. there and make sure they're there on time. What time we start? There, they need to be there at 6 p.m. Copy that. They need to be there at 6 p.m. That's all I'm gonna say. They need to be there at 6 p.m. When I say we love no stone unturned. When I say we love no stone unturned, whatever God gave us and showed us, we follow his order. We love no stone unturned. And like man, we are doing everything unapologetically, and we're being who we are allowed, and we giving it. And when I say I can't wait till you all see the footage from this. And you're going to be like, man, it's going to be like this the biggest family reunion i ever been at. Because our people come together in love, faith, and hope. Being who we are. Nobody not worried about what you're doing. But man, that, it's just like, you know, that one aunt they're going to show out, even if that aunt is not sober. But even then, but like, it's just the fact that you know that aunt, aunt, do your thing. I'll be offended if you won't be you. And so it's going to be great people coming together for a great time. But going back to the full line, y'all forgive me, but um, going back to this young lady, I taught this young lady in, in high school. Um, I think it was her junior year. She was my one of my students. But do, and it's so crazy. Juneteenth Code Explosion. She was just on a movie, the star of the movie on Paramount Plus on the come up. So now Latham directed it, met the man with the other star up in there, and she held that role down. Shout out to Raspity that wrote a lot of the battle line thing. But you Can all want to know. It? Yeah. Jamila C. Gray is the special guest host 
of Juneteenth Culture Explosion 2023. She the special guest host. And man, I love her and I respect her so much. And I'm like, shout out for doing your, you know, your teacher face your just like for you. I'm there. And like, and she's a and as a matter of fact, Paramount Plus actually let our school watch the movie before it came, a week before it came out. And get y'all so, okay, get y'all exclusive sneak peek copy yep. that. And she came through and she did this and that. And so, you know. She spoke when she came through, you know, we chopped up, we hugged, and I was just like, hey, you know, I got some, because I've been, like, my students been, what I'm doing now, my students been called it. And they used to always say, how long are you going to be here? I did not know what they mean, but they were just like, you got something so great beyond your wall, but she is the special guest host. And not only that, but we also got that baddest man in Atlanta, but he's the most humble person that you can meet. Very humble. Scratch Master DJ Popo. My bad. Triller versus Top 8 Resident DJ Scrap Master DJ Popo. There you go. You got to get the whole handle correct. There you go. And <laughs> I had to, like, and he always, like, you know, hey, every time we do it, he always, like, I'm there. Just like we talked a month ago. I said, hey, man, I got, we, we got the whole stage set for you. He looked at me and said, I'm ready. When the this man is so humble, but he'll beast that what he do. Killer Mike already said it. Candy already Candy of Escape had already told him. But one, if I would have knew you about five to ten years ago, you would already be a millionaire. And look how God worked. He's already like versus again ready to set up that top four DJ belt, and I already know he's gonna win it to get that million dollar salary. He's getting ready to do that, but I pre cause he also DJ for one hundred seven point nine. For him to say I'm not doing birthday bash and I'm doing y'all event, that's powerful. And yeah, birthday bash crazy. been a staple in Atlanta for a minute. Yeah, his birthday bash is like uh, it's like powerhouse for us. So yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> he said I'm doing y'all thing. He said I'm I'm doing it. He said it just like he said I'm done. He said I'm ready. And I told him I said man when you come on. The, oh, so let me say like this: for every person that I'm naming today, before they hit the stage, it's an LED screen in the building. Their picture gonna be up there. Their accolades gonna be up there, and it's gonna be flames coming from the stage to highlight each performer and guest. And there are gonna be artists popping up, coming to up and coming artists. Just like us, we start. We highlight them artists. You get here you go. A couple of surprises. You ain't gotta give everything away right yeah. here. You say you want the folks who to purchase the tickets to get a little special situation. I understand that completely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Couple things that I want to hit on. Uh, one, like I say, because me and you've been having these conversations for years now, and you said we start in the garage and now we got a three-year commitment. Salute to that, bro. Uh, that's me texting you. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. <laughs> salute. Salute to you for that one. I love to see the joy on your face when you talk about that. Yeah, I love the excitement in your voice. And the thing that you're hitting on that I love is you continue to highlight. This is something that me and you, again, me and you have, can't, we've had 100 conversations. Yeah, But this is a conversation that me and you had where how can I get us and we? The things that you are saying is about we doing this or for us to do. And that's the part that I love is the part that yeah, we're putting in all of this work, but I'm also not doing this stuff just so that I can say that it's just me or so that I can shine the light on myself and so that we can move this thing forward for us so that we can try to help our culture move forward for us. That's the stuff. These are the little things that are in there that if you're not paying attention, then you're not catching. Like, mm -hmm. And these are the things that I, these are the things that are tent poles in my, these are the things that are stabbing me. They're going, he said that, noted. He said that, noted. Those are the things that I love to hear. And those are the things that you have been since the first time I talked to you. This is why I bang with you so heavy. This is why, no, we got a whole episode just to talk about your situation and what you got going on. And I told you, man, one of these, I got to get down here, but my, yeah. my daughter's birthday is the 17th. <laughs> yes. We talked about the shutdown. My youngest daughter was born during the shutdown on the mm -hmm. 17th of June. Happy birthday. I know she's not listening to this too. <laughs> Well, yeah. She's three, yeah. my bad. Um, yeah. <laughs> but 
Yeah. It's her birthday, so I know I can't make it down there, but we gonna have to situate something one of these years. Uh, it's one good. of these occasions for me to get there. But bro, I'm proud of you. Uh I love the progress that y'all are making down there, the work that y'all putting in. You already know if you call me, if you need whatever. Mm -hmm. I, if I can make it happen, then I'm going to make it happen. Because, you know, I can press play for not even being there. That's not bragging. That's just hard work. You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> and, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Another thing that I wanted you to recognize, too, and the things that you're saying, because ain't going to birthday bash because he coming to your situation. One of your students reaches back and says, no, you need me there. I'm there. Your students are saying to you, we know that you're not going to be here for long. I want you to recognize this, and it's not – don't feel bad about taking a bow about this situation. One of my favorite joints Yo Gotti had was, can I speak out, can I think out loud, and can I tell myself I'm proud? All right? The best mm -hmm. thing you can have is a good name. And the thing that you're highlighting there again is saying without saying it is, your name is good, your effort is good, your intentions is good, so the people recognize that. The people are telling you, no, nah, salute, and I got you if you need me. Don't ever gloss over that, too. Don't ever look at like you ask somebody for something and it's like, I don't want to be begging these niggas. I don't want to be asking these niggas. No, because if you come in with a good name, ain't nobody looking at it like that. They like, oh, no, cuz need me. What's the situation? If they're decent, genuinely, if they're genuine people as well, if they really trying to grow again for us, for we, for our culture, for our situation, if they're trying to do that, then they hear you say, yo, I need this, that, whatever from you. And they all for it. Mm -hmm. So, again, don't never feel bad about patting yourself on the back. Don't never look at that crowd that, that's going to be down there on the 17th and say, yeah, but we could have sold X amount more tickets. We could have did this better. We could have did that better. Because you got to remember three years ago, we was in the garage hoping that the fish grease didn't pop up too far. And yeah. nobody. <laughs> All right. Let's not forget where we came from and where we are at right now. Take your time. Stand there on the stage. Close your eyes and go, damn, we doing it. We ain't did it. We doing it. So mm. big shout out to y'all. Like I said, man, anything y'all need from up here, any buttons you need me to press, bro, you already know what it is. One more time before we let you go to let the people know where to follow you. Give them all of the information. And you said we got some things we can't announce yet. So yeah, we're going to have yeah. to get you back on so that we can announce yeah. those things once the announcements start announcing. Hey, boogie. Is all I say, boogie. Um, June seventeenth, Saturday, doors open at six p.m. Domain Atlanta, Juneteenth Coach Explosion, third year officially, unofficially four years. You can get the tickets at Eventbrite, JCE twenty twenty three dot Eventbrite dot com. You can go to the website JCE twenty twenty three dot com. You can get at me on Instagram D dot Entertainer oh nine. Same thing on TikTok, D dot Entertainer 09, Facebook, Corey E. Thomas, Snapchat, D dot Entertainer 09. And we it's gonna be a spectacle. It's gonna be the 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 time of everybody's life. Like we about to come together in love, faith, and hope. Man, the team and myself, them brothers stand beside me, man. They best friends. I grew up one of them like. First of all, thank God it won't be possible without God. And just by you saying that. Man, I've been in total praise starting on Friday, leaving my image consultant because he much more than a barber. That's like a brother, too. I call him image consultant, but I also call him a brother. A lot of time, man, him sitting in that barbershop, we let the Holy Spirit have his way. And, man, I just went in the moment leaving. I just started praising God. I don't know what hole, I don't know what holds on the 17th, but. It's going to be big, but I'm already just been crying and just giving God thanks because what you it just what you said, a confirmation, brother. Even like this morning, it started on Friday, but this morning I woke up the same way just in praise. But what you said is right because <laughs> God about to blow our mind and the thing about it. It ain't for me. It ain't for the team. It's for the people because somebody need that love. Somebody need that leg go. It's for the culture. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah. It's for the it's for the culture, not to make it you know it's it all tie in type situation, but that's what it really is. It really like, is for the culture. You're right, cause somebody need to be there that just like that's on their way, but just need to be in a in an atmosphere where there's love, where there's faith, where there's hope, where there's good cheer, where there's good joy. Because you just never know. Because you know, reflecting back to 
when I was on the Ugly Money podcast, I never know Nietzsche was going to ask me that. And it just made me flat back because I'm, I was that brother that just needed to let it go. Even just like now, I'm not in the world eyes, I'm not tailor made, but in God eyes, he already tailored me and the people that he blessed me to be with for this. Because them brothers that stand side by side with me, I thank God for blessing them to be right here with me because I'm nothing without the people around me. And it's just like, man, you were talking about relationship is everything, brother. You always feel it. Relationships are how we make any of these things work, bro. That part. If the if the relationship is two three year olds, mm -hmm. uh, the connection is the where where do you connect? Where do you meet on this? What level do you meet? Which level do you connect? What is the common ground? And do y'all both have the same type of ideals and things in mind? Now those yeah. ideals and things are a little different as kids because you know it's just let's play with the blocks, eat the blocks, and all those different type of things. But, yeah, you saying hours away, states away. We grew up differently. We speak differently. We got different faiths, all of those different things, but it's your mindset, it's your mentality, it's your outlook. Those are the things that I loved about you through the phone. And we never even physically met in person yet. But true, like true. I said, I, I love, I'm the type of person who I want to give you those flowers while you can smell them. I don't want to have to post this picture of you when you ain't here no more and saying, damn, that was my man. And I thought this and I thought that. And I never told you none of that. That's why I continue to harp on, take that bow. Smell those flowers, receive those flowers, accept that pat on the back, and don't never let nobody feel like you shouldn't do that because, like, you bragging or you talking. No, I tell people you can Google my name because I work hard for that to be something there for you to Google. <laughs> you want people to be Googling culture explosion and seeing all the things that you got going on, and you got all these different things lined up. And always remember, we started from the garage to you can Google me. <laughs> <I'm saying? laughs> You're situation right. bro and don't never let nobody demean that uh ct bro i appreciate you coming on that's episode 111 of the hot house podcast for hype we are out i am hype that's h-y-m-p-e it's hype it's not hype i'm not geeked up